Good morning, modern steaders. This morning, we're gonna move the poultry netting so we can give the chickens some new fresh ground to work on. And then we're gonna let well, all the partially. chickens and the Icelandic ones out. What's that? I'm only partially moving it. All right, we're gonna move it the best we can without disturbing the mother ducks under New York City who's trying to hatch out some egg ducklings for us. We'll get this right out of our way. Good morning. Oh, you like it when we're outside. Hopefully we can get this done before it starts downpouring. I don't know, it's getting pretty sprinkly. It's sprinkling pretty good right now. Oh, they don't like me coming in here. I'm gonna go down there and pull that fence up and see what we can do over here. Yeah, but it's actually bigger. It's just not all. She said, "Why did you make it smaller?" I said, "We actually didn't." Yeah. Well, it's not bigger, but it's the same size, just a different direction. I didn't take a pile of wood out. Nope. But I think they'll have fun playing on. Trash treasures that we found. Ready? I, I just heard it click. Yep, it's that's working. We'll have to check it later, but we can get the chickens out for now. So I don't want to get bit. See how the Icelandic chickens like it. <laughs> Release the beasts. There comes Mr. Biggs. Oh, the ladies pushed him out. Icelandic chicks don't know what to think. They spent all day yesterday in the coop. I didn't let the chickens out, any of them. I wanted the Icelandic plan that this is home. Man, the rock oh, is that what happened? <laughs> I think so. Oh. I was all excited it came out by itself, but I guess not. Come on. Nope. Come on, Peanut. You can do it, Peanut. <gasps> peanut! Now all we're waiting on is Dale and Fluff. Good morning, girls. Say hello to the modern steaders. <laughs> Look at all the rain we got when we were making the kombucha and while we were sleeping last night. Look at that. Look, check out the bucket, Lovies. Look at all the water that's in there. That's from the rain we got. Whoa. Yeah. And before there was just apples in there, not water. Yeah, look at all that. While we were outside rearranging New York City, Olivia was inside making a craft. We thought we had to show it to you. What were you making? An ATM. You were making an ATM machine. Show us how it works. Okay, so you can like put money in it, and I already did. And also, you can make a. Cr I made a credit card, and you put it in. To get how about the money. a debit card? We don't use credit cards. A debit card, and so you put it in to get more money, and then it goes. Beep, you got more money. You're crazy. Good job. Mm. 
our potato tower is jamming. We gotta add some more hay to it. So let's get to it. This is just spent hay from the winter chicken coop. Kind of smells like corn. Kind of smells like beets. I was just thinking. I yeah, after you corn. cook corn, corn or some kind, of something. It's got some kind of like earthy, yeah, vegetable smell to it. I was just thinking the same thing. I'm like, it smells like beets. <laughs> it definitely doesn't smell like poop or anything. No. Don't need that string, you'll save that for something else. Yep, we'll need that. Can use that some other time. Claude, are you smelling for that rabbit? You leave that bunny rabbit alone. Come on. Nest over there. He didn't go back over there. He went in the woods. So you throwing that on top of them aren't gonna break them or anything? Uh, if it bends them over, they'll grow more. Okay. I'm not throwing it hard enough to break them. Well, I know, like, I just saw, like, those over. Right, they it had, like, a little over, bent. But it'll be fine. Okay. Because you, your potatoes grow from the plant and not the roots, Ooh, so that's all wet. if we bury them... Is that okay? What? That it's wet? Yeah, because it's going to get wet when they're in there anyways. Pluto! Do we have any potatoes? We do. I wonder if any of the potatoes in the house are growing eyes. We could try another experiment. What's our other experiment? We could take a bale of hay standing on its side and we'll just put the potatoes in the hay bale and see how those grow. We'll do that. If they're not growing eyes, they will. They will be shortly. So why do we do this? Why do we do this? Part. So we can get more potatoes. So yeah, but what's it doing? You're hilling it up and your potatoes grow from the plants not from the roots. So the more dirt and soil or hay, straw, whatever you growing medium you put around your plant, you're gonna have more potatoes growing off of them. Well, I thought it had to be like dirt or soil or something, not. We'll find out this harvest season when we go to harvest them. Make for a good experiment. I still think there's more potatoes that are gonna end up popping up. And the good thing about using the hay or straw for a growing medium or old leaves is the plant can grow up through this easily. Like if you put dirt, it's going to have an issue growing up. So you can just keep putting this, it can grow through that pretty easy. Mm -hmm. You know, this is all breaking down and turning into compost, so it's going to have the nutrients. Hay is one of the only matters that is, it has everything it needs to turn to compost. So like wood chips and stuff, you gotta add more green material to break it down. With a straw and hay, has everything already. And that's all there is to it, it's pretty simple. Just throw some hay on it. This is what it looks like now. Once it rains, it'll pack it down and get it tighter around the plants better. And if we need to, we'll add some more to it right after it rains. But we're gonna keep it like this. And when the plants start growing up again, we're gonna keep adding more hay. We'll bring you guys along for it. This is gonna make for an awesome experiment this growing season. Let's go in the house, grab a few more potatoes, and we'll try planting them just directly in the hay bales. They don't have lots of eyes. I mean, this one's oh, getting some. It's good quite a few. We'll cut it up. This one's got a couple. I think they'll be perfect. My hands smell like corn too. Is there another one? Nope, she's in the house somewhere still. Done. Awesome. I'm just pushing the potatoes as far down as I can and they'll grow up through the straw and we won't have to do anything else to it. That's the plan anyways. A 
fast one. Yeah. Picking up more trash? Yeah, what the heck? Pick up the trash. Before this tree was growing in a bunch of brush, the limbs were growing down and out to get some sunlight, so I ended up getting some poles of trees growing in the side of the road. I just left the notches, the V's in them, cut the branches off. Now you can walk under this tree. That branch was laying down over here across the poultry netting, so that's nice. I would have brought you along with us, but it was raining like a son of a gun after we got all the fencing up. This area is loaded with wild strawberries. Might as well pick them and give them to the chickens. Look at them all. Wow. That one's a lot. Well, those are gonna get washed off. Or... Well, I'm gonna go give them to the chickens. Oh. Some of these have been over. run over with the tractor tire, it looks like. Oh, you're gonna eat them. No, I'm not. Wash them off. The Icelandic chickens are doing good. They're staying on their side of New York City and in New York City. We'll give them the strawberries. He's over here with the other chickens. They've only been out here for a couple of hours. And look, they're going to town. They've been scratching this all up. There are the ducks. But look at that. They found a good spot, it's probably loaded with grubs and bugs and worms. They're gonna have that cleaned up in no time. Thank you, chickens! <laughs> the elusive Icelandic chickens came out. One of them came from over there. Yeah, I had scared them over there, and then oh. when I walked over there, he, he ran back over this way. I just think it's funny they're staying on their side and they're over there. As you can see, oh, you got another bug on you. Come on, there you go. As you can see, the Icelandic chicks are really liking New York City, so they know it's their home. So locking them up in there for a whole day worked in our advantage. But we'll find out better tonight if they go in there and roost by themselves. Keep our finger crossed, that's what we're hoping for. Hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really been helping our channel grow. We just want to keep thanking you for that. Don't forget we're on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, our handle is Lumna Acres, and we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.